May the 9th, 2012. Looking at earth-facing images from the SDO, you know, since about 1476 has continued to grow. When it first came around, it was a uh, beta-gamma configuration, which uh, increased the chances for the X-class flares. They were at 5%, but it's thrown off two flares today, and it uh, has uh, went from now to a beta-gamma-delta configuration on the magnetic field, and it's a 10% chance for X-class flares. Guys, we've got to watch it. I'll show you a couple of images, but for you guys that aren't familiar, I'm going to put a link and a video to the right of this one about the Carrington event. That was when we had uh, the last uh, large Earth-directed solar flare that was strong enough to wipe out the uh, power grids. Now, we, it was, we're talking about a long time ago, and we're basically dealing with uh, telegraph lines, but it was a uh, strong event. I want to show you something else. Now, when it came around, they said it was one of the largest uh, sunspots in years, and it has grown since then. Very large, guys. Look at the size of that. Now, checking the X-ray flux out of Boulder, you can see your dates. We've had, uh, since those two flares, we've had one more strong M. You're looking up into the M2. This one close to an M3. Now, checking out our magnetopause, you can see we're under pressure. It started today. You can see the... Uh, pressure here. It's going to go through the 10th and the 11th with these new flares up into the 12th, guys. So we, what we're looking at now is pressure from the 7th. But as w this pressure builds up, we see it uh, heat up. We see the earthquakes increase, guys. Things had calmed down on the earthquake front as our solar activity had calmed down. But now that that's picking up, it's a time for uh, just to Keep an eye on it, and with those strong X flares, you never know what ha can happen to our power grid, guys. Now, also, as we watch this, the stock market is sliding worldwide, and I don't know if they're going to be able to stop it. They're going to—they're talking about a few bailouts here and there to postpone it. But uh, again, it's a time to watch that. CNBC.com has uh, worldwide stock markets on it. But guys, heads up, be safe. We're going to be keeping an eye on this.